Hey guys, it's Kyle with the How-To Guy 123 here, and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to emulate Wii and GameCube games on a PC using the Dolphin emulator. So let's get right into it. First things first, if you don't have the Dolphin emulator, I'll leave a link to download it in the description below. You can download either the development versions or the stable versions, whichever one you want. I would recommend the stable version, and in this video, I'm going to be using Dolphin 5.0. So download it for Windows or, on, or uh, Mac depending on which operating system you're using, of course. And it, pretty much when you download it, it installs like any other program. So I already have it and I'm not gonna go through the installation process. In this video, it's pretty straightforward, but when it's done installing, it'll put a, an icon on your desktop uh, that we can launch it from. So go ahead and open it and it should look something like this. Next, we're gonna actually go ahead and get our games. So the first thing you're gonna wanna do is create a folder anywhere you want where you're going to store all your games. Make sure it has a lot of space because games, when you have a lot of them, they can add up in size. Usually games, they can range from a couple hundred megabytes to upward, upwards of a gigabyte. So when you have a lot of them, they can definitely add up. So like I just mentioned, make sure you have, you put your games where you have a lot of space. So next, we're going to actually go ahead and get our games. I'll leave this link in the description below. This is the best place I've found to actually get games. It has the best selection uh, in 2019. There were a couple other sites, but they have since shut down. But this has the best selection of games that I've found, and it's a pretty safe site. Um, another downside to it, the download speeds are a little bit slow, but they're, they're not too bad. But if you guys know any good sites to get games, I'll leave them in the comment section below, and uh, I'll check them out and uh, maybe heart your comments if uh, they're good. But now, let's go ahead and pick our console. So if you're going to get GameCube games, click this one. If you're going to get uh, Wii games, click this one. I'm going to go for GameCube. And I'm going to choose Animal Crossing. They're, the games are ordered by alphabetical order. So just go ahead and uh, click the letter you want. And I'm going to go for Animal Crossing. So just click that one there. And then click on Download. Alright, so now that's done downloading, I'm going to go ahead and drag it into our folder here. Now if it's a .iso file, you can leave it, you don't actually have to extract it. But if it's in a .7zip file, a .zip, or a .rar, you're going to need to extract it. And you're going to need to do it using some sort of extracting program. I like to use WinRAR, it's probably the most popular one out there. You can use 7zip, whichever one you want. Uh, I'll leave a link for WinRAR in the description below if you don't have it. But just go ahead and right click on it and then click on extract here. And it's going to extract your game. Uh, so we see here. Uh, if it's a GameCube game, it's going to be in a .gcm format, and if it's a uh, Wii game, it's going to be in a .wbfs format. And I also put this README on our in the folder here, so we can just go ahead and delete that if you want. And uh, now we can minimize this and uh, minimize this as well, and open Dolphin. And when Dolphin's open, it's going to say here Dolphin could not find any game or any games. Double click here to set a games directory. So double click on it and navigate to our folder that contains all of our games. Mine is this one here, and then click select folder. And then it should automatically detect all of our games that we have saved in the folder. If not, you might need to uh, click refresh a couple times. Next, we can go ahead and configure Dolphin. Under config, we really don't need to touch any of this unless you're having problems with your games. But I find the best settings are the default settings and have, are, are pretty much already set up. So I'm not really gonna touch all these. They're a little bit complex especially if you don't know what you're doing. So I'm just gonna go ahead and click OK. Next, under graphics, by default, it's set to OpenGL, which OpenGL is fine, but if your graphics card supports it, use Direct 3D 11, and then select your graphics card. So in my case, the NVIDIA GeForce GTX 970. Under display, you could leave this auto, but uh, my monitor size is 1920 by 1080, so I just have uh, 1920 by 1080 selected here. This is pretty much going to be the resolution of your monitor, but you can leave it on auto if you want. Under aspect ratio, I like to have mine stretched out widescreen for 16 by 9, but uh, this, that's just my my uh, preferences, but you can leave it on auto if you want. I uh, use full screen, you can have that checked. Under vSync, you can leave this unchecked. I was just having, I was just playing Luigi's Mansion earlier and I was having a little bit of screen tearing. So I left that checked, but I would leave it unchecked. And then show FPS if you just want to have the FPS in the top uh, left-hand corner of the screen, that's up to you. Under enhancements, 
uh, under internal resolution. By default, it's a native 640 by 528. And you can bump this up to uh, if you want. So uh, I like to have my games in 1080p, so I select three times native. If you're having some performance issues, you definitely want to drop this down uh, or even leave it at native. But if, you're, if your game is running good, I would definitely bump this up to whatever resolution you want to play your games in. And then that's pretty much all I would touch here. Just click on close. And if you would like to set up a controller, which I would recommend, you know, playing your games with a controller. It's much better than playing with a mouse, mouse and keyboard. So I like to use my Xbox One controller. The nice thing about the Xbox controllers are they're pretty similar to uh, the, the GameCube controllers. So I have my uh, Xbox One controller set up here, and I, under port 1, select standard controller, and then you can configure it to however uh, you want. Under device, you're going to want to select X input gamepad, and you might need to refresh it a couple times if it's not in the list. And uh, I basically mapped my Xbox controller to the GameCube controller. So for example, the A button is the A button on the Xbox controller. B button is the X button and so so on and so forth. So if you want to copy this for an Xbox controller, you can just pause the video there. And you can save it as a, uh, a preset if you want. So click OK. And if you're playing Wii games, the Wii controller is actually set up, uh, you can use it natively through Bluetooth. And if you guys would like a tutorial on how to use a Wii controller on your PC, let me know in the comments below and I'll be uh, happy to do a video on that. But anyways, Go ahead and click OK when you're done, and uh, let's start up a game. So click on the game you want to play, and then click play. Nintendo. And there we go. We've successfully we're successfully playing a GameCube game on our PC. So I just hit start on my controller. And you can see our game is pretty much running perfectly. So that's pretty much it. If uh, this tutorial helped, leave a like. If it didn't, leave a dislike. If you have any questions or comments, leave them in the comment section below. And I'll see you guys in my next video.